Welcome back. I'm Simon Mack. It's Rubik's Tuesday. And today, we are comparing the spinner 1x1x3 to the regular 1x1x3. Alright, here is the regular 1x1x3. Uh, white base. At the time, I thought I was just going to get a whole complete set of everything in white. You might remember this one. All of these in white, and then after a while I decided white. I did not want to go everything with white, but now I have this white base 1x1x3. One by one by it's stickered with round stickers, um, and as you can see, well worn. Yep. And the special thing is when you turn it this way, there are also stickers on the inside and stickers on the inside of this, stickers on the inside of that, there, so that's kind of cool. There you go. And here is the 1x3x3, I'm going to say 1x1x3, one by 1x3x3 one by three, one by three by three cube spinner. Spins nicely. Very satisfying. All right, let's compare. They can both do these moves. This one is stickered. This one is stickerless. And you guys know I prefer stickerless. I am a sucker for the stickerless because you see what happens with the stickers. They scrape off, they wear off, they come off. Stickerless does not do that and it feels better. It feels nice. All right, now, let's see. This one does not have the colors on the inside. So when you mix that one up, you're gonna have some, some spots that do not have colors on them. Whereas this one, shuffle this one up. You're gonna have spots all over, colors everywhere. Same pattern here. All right. So there we go. Okay. This spinner one feels like it has certain positions that it does not like to be in. Like it doesn't click in and line up nicely. Like this position, it doesn't like to be in this position. It comes out of where you can see that. doesn't line up there. Whereas this one will line up in any position you put it in. Okay, this won't line up. This has to be in the right position. There. So comparison wise, I like that about this one. It lines up everywhere nicely. Every which way. I'm trying it this way. Boom. This one doesn't like certain positions, but the spinning is very satisfying. Okay, to solve, line up the edges first. Always start with the edges. So we've got two darks there, the other dark is here, so I'm gonna flip that over, line that up. Yellows and reds are also lined up. All right, now the last thing we'd have to do is turn these middles, and those middles turn independently. So I can just put them into place very nicely, very easy. Okay, once you figure that trick out, this is one of the easiest puzzles to solve. A little bit tricky sometimes when they are 
scrambled and not in cube shape. And people sometimes have problems getting back into cube shape. Okay. Always find a blank space. Turn it to that blank space. This is one situation where people don't know what to do. Turn it this way. You can't turn it all the way around because then you're still stuck there. Right? You gotta go part of the way. So you've got a blank space on either side. And there you go. Let's flip these around. Now we have these lined up. Now just these middles need to be flipped. There you go. Nice and easy solve. Very fun. There you have it. That is the spinner versus the cube shape puzzle. I like the stickerless on the spinner. I like the spinning function. That's very nice, very satisfying. But I prefer this puzzle as a puzzle. In general, the 1x3x3 is a great starter puzzle. Um, my kids like to do it, and uh, with a little help, they can solve it. Verdict, I generally like the 1x3x3. Between these two, I prefer the cube shape one. There you have it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. If you haven't yet, subscribe, hit that like button, and remember, you're awesome. I'll see you in the next video.